Welcome back everybody to a new song reaction taken from my August song reaction submissions on my subreddit. Head on over there, hit, don't hit leave, hit join, follow, subscribe, whatever it says. Um, and post your own album and song reaction submissions for me to look at and ignore. One of the ones I'm not ignoring is uh, Louis the 14th. I'm good at Roman numerals. Air Traffic Control. This is a bit of a weird one um, because I, I didn't know what this band was, so I looked them up. Post-punk revival, garage rock revival, mod revival, indie rock. Um, kind of a, you know, scattered history here. Um, taken off of their album Slick Dogs and Ponies. Um, and I'm not one to let criti critical appraisal of things sway my response too much but when i noticed it had a 37 on metacritic um in addition obviously to a 2.5 from pitchfork i my interest was peaked i i uh i was like oh wow this band um doesn't seem highly praised by pitchfork not that that means anything but with the 37 on metacritic i was like oh okay that's interesting um, and it has like sub three on run uh, rate your rate your music. Um, so I'm like, okay, I don't know what I'm getting myself into here. So we're going to watch this 2009 music video because it's the best quality uh, version of the song on YouTube I could find. Uh, if it sucks, it's going to suck and I'm going to say so. If it's okay, it's okay and I'm going to say so. If it's good, I'll say nothing. No. Uh, anyway, let's see. Let's see what we got. Actually, one sec. Let me reload this page without a playlist. There we go. Joe Jonas? Muse. That's a vagina.
hate it when that happens. Okay. Um, so, I think the problem is, well, first off, uh, some of the lyrics were a little cringy, but the voice was very hard to listen to. Um, it was just really high pitched and a little grating. Um, those are just like things that I will criticize a little bit. Um, maybe other people don't have problems with the vocals, but, uh, I did. It falls into that realm of derivativeness where there's, it's like acceptable pop music or acceptable rock music, but it's just weaker versions of better things that have come before, right? Like, uh, album or artists that could fall into this would be things like Coldplay, The Fray, uh, Keen, um, Travis, uh, some killers music. Um, you, you know what I'm getting at where it's like, it's weaker versions of better people, better artists and bands in the genres. Um, like I can see someone enjoying that song in the same way I enjoy a lot of Coldplay music, which is to say, I don't enjoy it as much on an intellectual level as I do in a, on an emotional level. Um, I could see that pushing emotion, people's emotional buttons as Coldplay does with me a lot of the time because I that was kind of one of the first bands I glommed onto in my high school years. Um, but I would never defend Coldplay intellectually a lot because there's just not much to uphold. Um, so it's all about like, you know, saying this is good versus it's serviceable. Um, and I think this falls into that category of... Um, I don't think it's super bland. I don't think it's super boring. I think it's middle of the road. And I could see someone liking it. Me personally. I didn't hate listening to it, but I'd rather listen to other uh, artists in those genres. That's how it goes, man. That's how it goes. So anyway, thank you everyone for watching. Until next time, Godspeed.